Alright guys, this is Ice. Uh, I'm gonna be casting a Zerg vs Zerg and this is This is actually gonna be me playing as Ice Cold Pimps at the right hand side as the blue Zerg and as the red Zerg we have Jupe if that's how you pronounce it and this game well I'm probably gonna be casting more of these but these games are just basically like a more more of a kind of a tutorial rather than just a gameplay cast because um, I, I guess like after a while I guess kind of boring just watching only um, only high high level players playing so this one is kind of be for like lower lower league players like bronze silver um, etc gold and you can see my my scout coming across there I sent it out uh, pretty early just because the map this really long distance you can see all the way down here just to get up to their base and since he was Zerg I just wanted to see if he was going for an early spawning pool because I, I always check for that if there's Zerg I always scout earlier than the other races just because if they're going for like a six pool or a seven pool or something then I need to be prepared for it and the six pool would take just a bit longer to reach me just because the map uh, well is so long to get to you although there are destructible rocks um, hit here and here but those take a while to break down you can see um, Jupe getting up his first gazer, Vespin gazer um, I'm not doing that and usually I don't get Vespin so early as Zerg uh, although you can do you can get the metabolic boost for the Zerglings very early if you do have the early gas but the reason I don't do that is because that's three drones that are not mining minerals and this early in the game, Zerg is not very gas intensive. And that's kind of what Spanishiwa does. In his uh, build, the 16 hatch 15 pool, he doesn't get a, a gas until very late, so he can have more drones on, on minerals. And uh, you can see here, I sent a drone down here. Now, something about this map, like whenever you're playing someone on this map, you should always send a scout down here, like three times early on in the game just to see if this happens I put up a hatchery right down here he has no idea he has an overlord right over my base and I'm gonna put the production tab by the way he has an overlord right over my base and he has no idea that I've just expanded now Jupe is red yes he has just over 100 minerals so you should probably be getting metabolic boost otherwise that early Vespine was a complete waste or he should be getting a lair and he's doing neither now here's uh, something wrong with what he's done he has fully mining on the Vespian Gazer he's not he hasn't used any of it yet and there's the metabolic boost uh, he has 60 gas right now so that was way too long of a time interval as soon as you get the hundred gas you're supposed to um, get the either metabolic boost or the lair and if you don't do that then it's kind of a waste to get the Vespin so early because those drones could have been mining minerals and he's going for an expansion uh, not late not extremely early either and an evolution chamber as well now that was my gazer he just destroyed so he has four zerglings I know that because it was mine and he just destroyed it now I have one gazer I am also well I sorry I just, I just got the gazer so my gas is just starting to fill up on I can't remember actually what I did here but making sure always to spawn the larva as soon as possible and I'm getting up a banelings nest which is why I'm getting another extractor if I was not going for banelings nest and I was just um, going mainly zerglings for the early game I would not get a second extractor and usually as soon as you get another extractor you have to put on the three drones immediately and the reason I didn't do that is because I realized I did not have full saturation at the main here um, so I still need to get a, a whole bunch more drones over here so it was kind of a mistake getting this extractor too early uh, I do have the banelings nest and I'm getting mainly drones now because I realized I do have to uh, saturate that base and I'm moving out some zerglings down here I just want to see what he has he does have the speed upgrade I do not um, I just have 78 of gas, so I assume I'm, I'm going for the lair, yes, and so is he. His lair just finished, I think. I did not go for metabolic boost, so I did go for the lair. Um, now, I am... I'd say I'm, I'm ahead at this point, just because 
I've started to get saturation over here. Should have uh, done that a little bit faster, but nothing wrong with that. So I am starting at the gold minerals. Now he has nothing mining here yet, just making two drones over here. And if you're expanding, especially if you're expanding right next to your main, which is usually how you expand, um, you should always make a second queen over here. So just before this finishes, you should already be making a second queen that you can send down here. So you can spawn larva as soon as the archery finishes. He did not do that, so he's just going to be slightly delayed. And we can see Jupe uh, making some veilings of his own. Uh, I think he realized that's what I was going for, and so he thought... But that's what he should do and we'll see what happens I do have more banelings than he does and we'll see if my zerglings can destroy them first and basically their banelings all detonated mine and I think both of us came off pretty even because he had more zerglings and had more banelings and I came off with just three more and that zergling is going to go down I have no idea what happened there. I didn't even see that when I was playing the game. I remember now. And you can see now I'm, I finally started to get this properly saturated. Although I could do with uh, about three or so more drones. Maybe two. And now I'm just pumping out Zerglings. Because I've decided to go for a Baneling build. And I do send a scout in here. Yeah. Now this is important because I did scout him early on in the game. But I have no idea what tech route he chose. So I have no idea, and I see he has two gazers, so I assume he's going for some gas heavy build, and he is getting a spire, and air units are very gas intensive. So I send my Zergling up here, um, run through the drones, I see the bailing nest of course, and I see the spire. Then my Zergling dies, so I know he has a spire, and I assume something like that just because he had two gazers, although, again, this is a problem, he should not have gotten those two just because he didn't have hair saturated so he doesn't have the drones that he can just easily move over to the gas because then he wouldn't be mining minerals and that is a problem the spire about three quarters done meanwhile I am getting more zerglings looks like and a hydralisk den just because I, I saw the spire so now I'm thinking the quickest building to build I think as the hydralisk den is it builds pretty fast and that will counter any mutalisks. I have my ha a third hatchery coming down here. Meanwhile, he's still not saturating over here. He just transferred all his drones to gas. This is what I was talking about. He was not focusing here at all. And you can see he has tons of larvae just doing nothing. He's supply blocked. And the thing with supply blocking is you should never build your overlord after your supply block. You should always build it just before. So you never actually get supply blocked. And so that's a kind of a mistake on his part. And here, still not being saturated. He really needs to make more drones over there. So um, he did pretty good with the army, but he did not back it up. He did not keep making drones. And all the dragons you can see come here attaching my expansion. I just barely get to cancel. So he takes the drone. So I did not lose any minerals. And then I start making banings because he has way more dragons than I do. And he has the speed upgrade. I haven't even started that yet. I'm not sure why. I think I forgot about that. And you can see me getting some spore crawlers around here. I was pretty scared of his mutalisks. I was thinking, like, I was wondering why they didn't come already. So I was thinking maybe he was massing a whole bunch. So we'll see uh, what happens, what he's going to go for. He doesn't have any banings in this mix here. And I have a whole bunch of banings. And you see some hydralisks as well. And I'm trying to save up enough gas to get the carapace upgrade here. And you notice I'm moving my overlords closer to my base. Usually I keep them spread out so I can see if there's any attack coming. But because I know he has a spire, I'm thinking he may bring Mulus to pick off the overlords around the map. So that's a uh, that's kind of important because what sometimes what happens if they have a bunch of air units, they can just easily just come in and like destroy all your overlords and supply block you. And now what just happened here is his his army with only just a couple banelings, I pretty much destroyed. And that is something that is very dangerous, especially in Zerg versus Zerg. Um, he's since he's still on Zerglings, he hasn't really teched up. I'm not sure why he's not using his Spire. He is. He has like over a thousand gas. I, so with not the best macro uh, by this player, but he he is doing pretty good. And I actually talked to him this game, and he said he was. He started playing yesterday and he's actually in gold and I guess he placed a bit higher than he should be. He might actually be in silver because he did really well 
if he is if he did actually start yesterday he actually played very well and you can see now I'm moving my drone down here because I want to get a third expansion I have no idea um, if he has a third expansion or not and I want to make sure I'm always ahead of him even though I do have the gold we can see he is moving forward with his zerglings and I do have a bunch of banings so this shouldn't be a problem at all and I see them I do move a couple of banings across but he wants to run straight into my base run past the spine crawler and go into the mineral line. this is what you need to do if you're behind always go for the mineral line as much as possible um, however my banings do come in and I'm able to clean it up pretty nicely it goes around the back there and I carry these across I think yeah there we go I'm just trying to stop him from leaving so he didn't do much he killed a couple drones I'm not sure exactly how much to take out maybe three um, he says I'm extremely outplayed here uh, not really the only thing is that the only thing really, uh, well the biggest problem I'd say for this match is his unit composition. He stayed on Zerglings for way too long. Since it's so far into the game, he should have... Well, I'm not sure uh, again why he didn't get any Mutalists. If he'd done that, he could have really been on top. Just because he could have moved around and harassed. Um, he could have scouted for expansions. And also, I didn't have a lot of Hydralisk until recently. And you can see I just moved some of my Zerglings up here. Just destroying all the saturation he added at the base and that's gonna cost that's probably gonna cost him the game because he is running on one base i'm running on two and one of them is a rich he has a bunch of zerglings i decide to leave mine i could have pulled them back but i decided whatever because i was so far ahead and he barely has any drones here i think maybe he pulled them off the line to saturate over here which is another problem you should never compromise your saturation at the main for an expansion because they have to each have their own drone count. And you can see here, I'm um, getting kind of sloppy with the macro, not making drones. And I said, I'm just wondering what happened to your Spire, because he didn't use it. If he did, could have changed the game, I'm not sure. And I have an Overseer. Usually, if you're Zerg, like at least up into the mid game, you should always get an Overseer, even if you're not going to use it, just for any funny stuff. And uh, what is he doing? He is going for a couple of Banelings. And I'm looking to find where those may be over here. Usually what I do is, and especially because the bases are so far away, if I'm going to attack the base with Banelings, I'll move the Zerglings first because they're so much faster, and then I'll morph them. Even with the speed upgrade. And does he have the speed upgrade? I'm not sure if he does. And you can see there's only a queen on his production tab. He doesn't have that much minerals now because I've... Again, I cut off the saturation over here. He's finally got resaturated. But the thing with resaturation is that uh, if you spend all your money on that, you will not have an army. And if you're in any uh, situation like that, usually what the best thing to do is to get static defense, like how he has a couple spine crawlers. So you should get spine crawlers and spore crawlers because they do wet, they do better against their equivalent in cost against mobile units. So like. 100 minerals of zerglings will be destroyed by one spine crawler. And you can see this is the final attack, gonna be moving in here. And all the banelings kind of cancel each other out, just getting that queen. Um, I did kind of waste my banelings there, but I wasn't too bothered just because I had so many hydras. So I've destroyed the saturation here again, and I'm just gonna pick off the hatchery. Notice that I keep, I'm, I'm moving away because if you kill a zerg building, the little broodlings pop out and so I'm shooting it and then running away just so they don't actually get to me so this guy like I said he told me that he only started playing yesterday if that's true then he played amazingly well the only problem was his unit composition um, it was pretty nice that he followed me into banelings when he saw that that's what I had and the, the only thing really he didn't use the spire and he let his minerals build up so he should have expanded again and I know it wasn't the best game, but I just wanted to kind of kind of an explanatory video. So that's going to be it for this cast.